Uh, I go by shoehorn. He lives up to the name with his dancing shoes and horn. I tap dance and play the saxophone at the same time, uh, among a lot of other stuff. Michael Conley discovered the woodwind instrument as a teenager. I used to play the harmonica and I'd go to concerts and then I got into playing the sax and I never looked back. Around the same time, he started tap dancing. And he's now been at it for 42 years. His musical talents have taken him beyond Portland, all over the world, places like Japan and Russia, performing at festivals and pubs and private events. But the pandemic has put an end to all those gigs. A lot of us don't have any other way to, to make a living. And, uh, you know, there's no going back for me, like, I'm committed to this for the long haul. So he's found a new stage on the streets of Portland. This is the only gig right now. Sometimes busking is looked down upon by people, but uh, it's a new reality. A new reality he finds empowering. It's a new era, so it's kind of an empowering thing to just go out and find your audience. And there's an audience out there. Many are missing the thrill of live music. We were just watching this amazing man play saxophone and tap dance and just perform for us. Isabella and Dorothy were driving through the neighborhood. Hearing the tunes put their trip on pause. Shut off my radio and rolled down my window to listen to him in my car and we just parked over there and walked over here because it was just a lot better than what we're playing in the car because it's live, you know? The much appreciated tips help Shoehorn get by during these challenging times. And there's another payoff, performing again and feeling the appreciation of an audience. To me, music is my life, so that's, you know, that's what it is for me. And I like to share that with people. Crystal Kumwe, KGW News. What a wonderful story. What a wonderful treasure Shoehorn is. You can keep up with Shoehorn on social media where he also has a virtual tip jar. We have more information about his latest projects at KGW.com.